I talked to Andy Robinson from CCP Games. It was really nice. It's quite fun. Have a look at the interview that we did. It was it was good. I don't know why they didn't put it on the telly, Andy. Bastards. Hi, you're Andy Robinson from CCP Games. I am. Okay. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. Remarkable. This game that you made, I've actually played it in another reality, but I understand that it exists in different realities. What's the story behind the game that you've made? It was born from a prototype that we made when we got the Oculus Rift Kickstarter originally, and we just kind of, we built a small demo because we were just excited about flying around in space in VR, and it kind of snowballed from there and, and became Valkyrie, and now it's a game that sort of represents itself. I see. And uh, you're real, aren't you? I'm real, yeah. Reality. I exist here, yeah. Uh -huh. So is there something about this reality that you didn't like and you wanted to escape into another reality? Yeah, I always wanted to fly a spaceship. But you get on with your dad and everything? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. In this reality, you get on with your dad? Yeah, we're good. Okay. And how... How... Hmm. What, what happens... What's... How do you make a virtual reality game? Do you have to visit the other reality to make the game and then come back to put the game on a disc? Or can you put the game on a disc? How do you make a virtual reality game? It's very similar to making a normal game, I suppose. It's just about the thought process. Like, it's about putting people inside the world, transposing the person from outside this reality and putting it in that reality, somewhere where they, you know, where they can exist and immerse inside there. So we try and build the game and design the game around getting people you know, inside to make sure they feel like they're in a bubble, they're inside that reality and live in that. It sounds risky. Is there, a, is, there, is there a danger you can get trapped between the realities? Not that I've seen so far. What does space smell like? There's no smell thing on VR at the minute. Maybe in the future you could be onto something, but right now Could you nothing. code a smell? No. If I give you a smell, you can't code I it. can't code a smell. Code a smell. Sorry. I could maybe I, do a picture of a smell, but I couldn't make one smell. How, what happens in the future with virtual reality? It's a whole new medium. Like, it's been built up from now. It's going to explode, I think, into a whole new bunch of stuff. Games, literally, architecture. Literally explode. Not literally explode. Oh, OK. There'll be no literal explosions. Right. Just okay. figurative explosions of people's minds when they get to try out things like games like Valkyrie and, and other experiences. Literally mind-blown? Yes. Literally Literally mind-blown. Mind OK. Now, when I look into space in this reality, I know that that's infinity. But when I'm wearing a headset, what, what is that that I'm looking at? <laughs> so you're just looking at a projection of space through a very high resolution screen. So how do you code infinity? With great skill. <laughs> Does it not take ages? The Valkyrie team are a very, a very talented team. Right. Okay. Thanks, Andy.